Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Daily Stock Signals video for Tuesday the 9th of April 2019. I'm looking at AMD, going to be talking about two different strategies for entry here, one a conservative, one aggressive. Uh, just overall looking at the AMD at the moment, had a really nice move up, including the, the gap up here and then we've had some profit taken coming down. Our Wave 4 and our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is actually showing support around about this previous wave five high as well. So this is the Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for TradeStation, Ninja Trader, and Multi Charts. I'm going to combine this with our black box breakout indicator for Think Swim as well. So we're going to look at two different entry strategies here. The first one is our traditional fifth wave move. So when we get a, a wave four pullback, so some profit taken against that big bullish move, we find support. We measure that support in our probability pullback zones. The green zone here represents an 85% probability. If that support is held, it goes on and make that the new fifth wave high into our automated target zone here, around about 30, 50, something like that. We also look at the performance of that wave four. So one of the things we look at, first of all, is our early wave oscillator. And that pulls back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the way three, which it does. It's just one below uh, yesterday and we're at zero towards the end of the session there. This is the 60 minute time frame for AMD. So each candle is 60 minutes. Uh, we have also our false breakout stochastic. Now this shows us a really strong bullish trend with the yellow line up here in the overbought zone. When the stochastic crosses over against that and crosses in the over uh, oversold zone we want it, it is likely that it's going to return back to that main bullish trend so everything's setting up pretty well for our traditional fifth wave move using our Elliott wave indicator suite and this is the more conservative strategy out of the two so our stop loss is always below the wave four so 2815 here our entry is the green hash line here at 2902 so just over the 29 dollar mark it's outside of our special 6-4 moving average high for the first hour's bar position for today. It's also above the highs of yesterday. So nice conservative entry, making sure we're breaking those highs which were rejected yesterday. And then we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our fifth wave target zone. So that's our entry using our early wave indicator suite. It's a Tuesday. It's a swing trade and we'd look to close that before the end of the week, regardless if we've hit the target or not, because it's a six minute time frame. I only like to set these up on a Monday or Tuesday. Um, now we've got uh, our black box breakout indicator gave us a signal yesterday. So I'm going to look at this. Remember, we're reasonably confident this is going to go long. We've had a good wave for pullback. Uh, and yesterday we got our black box breakout signal at 2864, 63505. So 2864 with the stop loss automate, automatically printed at 2829. So this is a very tight stop and entry and a very aggressive entry. But when you put these together with these dot lines here, you can see even to the high of yesterday, we're at one to one already. Okay, before we'd even trigger on the conservative entry. Then if we look further to this pivot point here we're at 200 percent profit times risk before we even get to the high there so again but this is a breakout trade and you would look to trade this a day maybe two as soon as the uh the momentum drops away from this you've got to get out and take your profit so two alternatives here because i want to combine both indicator suites because our entry is very tight here. Now, if we get a good pre-market action on this today, we get volume and a gap up. Obviously, that aggressive entry is null and void and we can't use it. But we can then fall back on our fifth wave entry going through $29, $29.02 to be exact, uh, here uh, for our fifth wave target. And we can swing that towards the end of the week. So by combining both, we've got opportunities to trade AMD this week if this support level holds. First of all, we can get in quick on an aggressive entry and maybe even get out of that today at 100%. And then if it goes through that 2902, we've already taken 100% of our risk. and We risk the same money 
to get to then swing it to the end of the week and we're risking nothing all we're risking is our profit that we've just taken on that very quick breakout trade but it all depends on that pre-market action and whether we gap up or open in this very tight range between 2829 and 2864 okay so I just thought I'd share that with you today two potential uh, entries there using both of our indicator suites for the think or swim platform so have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all very soon